firstcoast.tv, I find myself with... Susanne Simpson. Thank you very much to come here in the morning. It's pretty noisy, but we try to do the best. Your paintings are fabulous. Uh, Thank you. I want to say that from the start. They're just... Your eyes just go to them. And I, I wonder what this is going to look like once it's set up. It, it must look magnificent. But tell me a little bit about your art. If you had to give your art a genre or a style, what would you call it? Well, if you want to go the official way, some people call it narrative surrealism. Narrative surrealism. But let me explain it much easier. You can look at them. It is not naturalistic, but you can recognize what you see. In art, you call it stylized. That means you move away from the naturalistic look. Mm -hmm. That's number one. The narrative comes that there is a content. The beauty is, because beauty is beautiful, mm -hmm. that's not a flat statement, that's actually a very deep one, that attracts. So getting your attention and your joy to look at them is good. Mm -hmm. But then there is an offer in the painting. Nobody is you as the observer forcing you. You find it by yourself. You get curious. You want to know more and more. Titles in this case help you. They are like a street sign telling you the direction I intended. You can mm -hmm. go the other way. Okay. And then a silent dialogue starts between your mind and what comes out of the painting. And okay. you can go deeper and deeper. Wow. Wow. A painting is for a long, long time. It's not a poster. You don't look 10 seconds and know everything. It's just the opposite. Yes. Right. And, and nowadays, with your 10 second attention, the beauty is important to grasp you. That you actually are willing to spend a minute or two, and I'll stun it, you are 10 minutes there. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So, Wonderful. Any specific one? You want to know something like Wow, behind? well, how about the one behind you? It has a catchy title, 17 Legs. Okay. And that immediately starts, 17 Legs, why? Is she 17 years old? No, that would be a different sound. 17, so hopefully you as the observer, and I will not move out of the camera and the uh, bending, mm -hmm. you start counting two human legs, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, oh, there are elephants on the carpet. Now you start counting. 14 elephant legs. <coughs> well, now you have 16 legs. The share has a leg too. Mm. So you think that's uh, a little bit funny? No, start thinking. These human legs are huge. They are stomping on very beautiful carpet of elephant legs. So what has that to do? Especially when you look very close after a while, you discover that her heel the heel of the lady's incredible high heel shoes. Mm -hmm. One of the elephant trunks actually comes up and goes around it. That's where the surrealism comes in. Uh -huh. So obviously it has nothing to do with her and the carpet. These are symbols or personifications or representations of something else. Little detour. When you are in New York Harbor, there she is. Uh, yes. She is a personification of liberty. Right. It's not Miss Miller next door. Right. So there are certain indications that she represents something. Right. So now you try this and you get this. So you have 90-20, 90-30 European flair with a lot of opulence yes. in material uh, capacities. Mm -hmm. And you have a carpet which obviously comes from the middle of Far East. And it doesn't take you too long to think what was in the 20s still a relationship between, for example, Britain and India. Right. And then even the sheer leg with a beautiful teak of valuable wood comes in the play in nature. So, and from there onwards, I leave it to you right. and the observer. So the, the painting is almost like a short story. It can be a longer yeah. one. Yes. yes. Or an yes. essay. Yes. yes. Right. They are, most of them give you that. And again, right. now you see the narrative surrealism, which sounds like a big um, mm -hmm. want to be t uh, classification or categorization. Narrative, telling, mm -hmm. content. And surrealism, it gives you something which is above 
our reality. Okay. Sometimes they are very subtle. When you go around, there is one painting which will hang later, a landscape, which has uh, pillars and s uh, stone spheres, like an entry gate. When you look closely, those stone spheres are a little bit in the air. They don't rest on it. Mm -hmm. The trees are strange. It's like a dream. Uh, landscape. Mm. So they are, I can legitimize the uh, surrealism quite a bit. All right. Well, but I thank you very much. This will help, help us. And I'll be here August 1st is Please. when it opens, uh, early in the morning, about 8.30. That's uh, yes, the official protocol and it yeah. might be a little bit early, but for St. Augustine, please, it's worthwhile it's, to come. It's open all the time, yeah. It's great. And in August, on three Wednesday afternoons, mm -hmm. from three to four, I offer a tour through the gallery. So oh I'm oh, sorry for the exhibition, mm -hmm. and I answer questions and tell more about the painting. That's great. And it's a very vivid uh, assembly. It's not yeah. a lecture. Well, it's people love to have an interaction with yes, the artist, please. and so that is fantastic. It's the 9th, the 16th, and the 30th of August, three o'clock in the afternoon. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. very much. All Thank right. you. our support of the arts today with the official opening of this new exhibit by our St. John's County local artist, Suzanne Schuchert. Having an internationally acclaimed artist displayed prominently here in St. John's County's Rotunda is a true honor. We have uh, in our midst and a resident now of St. Augustine, a world-renowned artist. Susanna has displayed around the world his artworks from Japan to Singapore, has worked with the Mayo Clinic in doing uh, some work for them in their space, as well as private corporations. Is also an author and is just completing a manuscript that I hope she will tell you about, because that's uh, yet another aspect of her artwork that is going to be so special to our community. I was told, had the vision years, years ago to have art in public places, meaning surprise the public when they have whatever errands or purpose to go into a building, suddenly be in a nice way encountering art, which they might not see otherwise. I praise you very much for that beautiful and very democratic vision of bringing this population to the art. I will show you 38 works spanning over maybe two decades of works. It is said that one picture tells you more than a thousand words. So please go and explore 38,000 words by your own. Discover, enjoy, and when you come to one of my talks, then we discuss it. Thank you so much.